Uh, we see that uh, a lot of the both banks and fintechs are looking for collaboration. Uh, so many of the topics, uh, both in the keynotes and uh, at the stands, are talking about collaboration. Open banking is one of the, the main topics. Uh, we see that many are talking about ecosystems. Uh, they're talking about uh, uh, collaboration, cross-border collaboration. So um, uh, those are topics that uh, interest us very much. We're uh, showcasing the BankBridge uh, API platform, which is a platform that connects uh, open banking initiatives and uh, creating an ecosystem for both banks and fintechs. Uh, this allows the banks to innovate like the fintechs and the fintechs to scale like banks. Well, we do see that not all the banks are forward-leaning uh, in their actions. Um, they are talking a lot about it, but now uh, we see that uh, not all of them are uh, really committed to do the uh, collaboration. So we're looking forward to seeing some more collaboration in the future, but that is probably the major challenge that we have at this point. We do observe that um, the banks and, uh, and also the structure of the financial system is, is becoming aware of the legacy that they have. Uh, and we do see that both the payment provider and the banks are now looking to in investigate how they can jump over the, the legacy systems and into a new version of uh, the infrastructure. So we hope to be part of that. So going a little deeper into the infrastructure of banking. Well, we, uh, we have, have seen both the PSD2 and GDPR uh, closely related. Um, so GDPR has obviously come as a, a huge effect for, for all industries, not just uh, the payment industry. Um, but these legislations uh, put higher demands and, and requirements on all providers. And we see that uh, new players like ourselves have uh, a huge opportunity in this space because we don't have all the legacies so that we're able to quickly adopt to the new legislation.